Am I supposed to have two three forks? Well, since you did not have a salad, your salad fork still remains. So you need to use the one that's close to your plate. Oh yeah, yes. we've had many workshops. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're it's just taking shortcuts. Plate. I'm gonna. Yeah. But you don't want that to Yes, that is your entree fork. This was your salad fork, but because you didn't have salad, the server should have taken it. So, your index finger, you want your index finger at the top of your fork. Like this. Right, at the top of your fork. And you've got your index finger at the top of your knife. And what you do is cut. Cut. Yes. Cut it. It's not as easy, huh? Just hold it on and cut. You've got to put some pressure in it. Yes. You're not putting the pressure on it. Okay, so we only cut one piece at a time, but since you've already cut about six, <laughs> you want to place your knife at the top of the plate, right, and then you switch hands if you're right-handed and proceed eating. Enjoy your meal. Great job, but I want you to hold your fork better than, yes, just like that. Great job. Awesome. I love how you're holding that knife and fork. Good job. And you know, the way you just ate is the European style, where you don't place your knife at the top, you just continue eating with your fork on your left, holding the knife in the right. That's the European style. So that's a good job. I need you to pull your chair up a little closer to the table, please. Great job. Okay, so here we go. We want your knife in your right hand. Knife in the right hand. That's why you're not able to cut. And you hold down. Okay, and then let go, let go. Yeah. Use your knife to assist. Hold it down with the knife. Right. Okay. Very good job. Awesome. He says, my turn. Okay, I need you to relax your arms. Relax your arms. Your knife and fork are in the wrong hands. That's why you're not able to cut. Okay, let's put our index finger in the right place. Turn the fork over, the knife over. And the handle of the fork needs to be in your palm. Turn it over like that, like that, and you hold down with your fork and you cut. And then you switch when you're on um, left. Good hand. job. Place your knife at the top of the plate. Place your knife at the top of the plate, and you switch hands with the fork. Good job, and continue eating. This is a beautiful display right here. This young young lady has got it. Yes. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Uh, you never put a used utensil back on the table. Always place your knife at the top of the plate. Good job. Okay, so your knife is always in the right hand. That's why you're having a difficult time. Okay. Okay? Hmm? Okay, so why is your glass on your left? Remember the, the cheat sheet. Your drink should always be on the right. Good job. So when the um, waitress comes around, you ask her, may I have another serving of iced tea? And she'll be happy to do that. May I? More iced tea. Good job. <laughs> you all look like you enjoyed your entree. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Did they use their knife and fork correctly? Okay, are you finished? So which position should your utensils be sitting in?
They should be in the five o'clock position. Don't get five o'clock. Five o'clock position, which means your utensils. Are you finished? Okay. Should be five o'clock. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Okay? 5 o'clock position. The handle should slightly hang off the plate, and that tells the waiter or waitress that you've finished eating. Okay? Good job. Good job. Yeah. Um, let's put our gadgets up. If I see another gadget, it belongs to me until the end of our experience here. Mm.